everyone. Welcome back to 26 and 21 with me. I'm Emily and today's our intro post for our first quilt of 26 and 21. So the first quilt that I'm going to be doing this year is going to be for my older brother. Um, it is the circuit board quilt by um, I saw her speech at QuiltCon and um, it was super awesome. And if you saw the, the quilt that says dinosaurs are for girls, that's by this same designer, Sylvia. My older brother, he has always been into computers his entire life. Like he's always been tinkering and taking things apart and putting them back together, whether it's a computer system or a game system that he bought at Denio's, which if you're not from the Sacramento area, Denio's is like a big yard sale setup. Um, we used to go there on Saturdays and just cruise and see what we find, especially in the days of Beanie Babies. So that shows you where my my thoughts were at those times. Um, so when I saw this quilt posted by another, another quilter made it in one of the Facebook groups I'm in, I saw it and I was like, that's the one, I gotta get it. So I bought it and I'm super excited to do this pattern because it's gonna be super scrappy. It's gonna be um, a lot of fun. So this pattern is both traditional and paper piecing. So I'm excited to see how the two combine together. I don't know, I, can't, I don't think I've done a quilt that's been um, traditionally pieced and paper pieced this consistently. I printed this because I needed the paper piecing. I printed at my parents' house and they just have a laser jet black and white printer. So my quilt is gonna be much more colorful than that. So you see all the little innards and pieces like that. And let me show you my fabric pull. Here is the stack of all the black on blacks for this quilt. It needed about five or six yards or so. So these are all half yard chunks and I hope, hope I have enough. I know I do have some more black on blacks in my stash. So if I do need to pull a little bit more here and there, um, at least I know I already have them. So let me start showing you. So this one's, I know this one's the Andover dimples. I love that line of fabric and stars. If you know me, I love stars. This one has cat hair on it somehow already um despite being in a box um these little twirly ribbons were super cute should i say super cute if it's going to my brother this is another line of fabric that i really like i've used this in different colorways um i'm not sure what it is i really don't know what it is but um i think it's so cool it adds like motion without um being all over the place um i got some polka dots we got some more stars. Okay, and this next one's gonna be like the, you're gonna have to like start tallying um, how much grunge I use in quilts. So I had to do some black on black grunge stars. I thought that would look super cool. And then I've just got some regular black grunge. I think this one is iron. Um, I think that's the colorway. And they were these. this was an endable that I had cut from a project at work. And so um, they're just, those ones are weird sizes. Um, we've got this like puffy cloud one. We've got this one, which was, I don't know, leaves, polka dotty leaves. I'm not sure. Some moons, which this one will actually tie in the pantograph I bought really well. So I'm excited to see that one come together and then some more polka dots because what can't go wrong with polka dots so those are the black on blacks for the main part let's see how many half yards we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of black on blacks there. So 13 half yards. Um, and um, the green I was originally looking at was, um, there was enough yardage there. So I had to go with my second choice, which I think is still um, gives that computer innards green. Uh, we have a, a Robert Kaufman fabric that does have like computer parts on it, which might be coming backing. I haven't picked a backing for the school yet. Um, but I held this up to it and it matched pretty well. So here is the green for the computer bits. So it's a grunge. Um, shocking. No, you'll, you'll, if you stick around a while, you'll see that I try and sneak grunge in everything and anything possible. So let me show you the fabric altogether. I think this was Kelly green. Um, 
I should write down my colors of grunge that I use as reference for myself. Um, but if I looked up the number, I'm sure it would tell me. So here they all are. One happy, quilty, soon-to-be family. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll chop these up later and we'll get going. I'm excited to see this all come together. Um, so yeah, see y'all again soon. All right, it's Saturday night. I'm off work for the next two days. So now it's time to get cutting some fabric. So I've got my iron, I've got my best press, I've got my fabric, and now we're gonna get chopping. I've got my ironing board cover that I need to replace. So hopefully that'll be done by the next time I use my ironing board. So here's our update. So here we are looking at our update of our black on black cuts. Everything's cut from our big squares to our little rectangles and our little squares and our regular size rectangles and regular size skinny rectangles. And now we're going to cut some green. So in true Emily fashion, um, I want this fabric at work for a project that's not happening until, oh, September, but um, I bought a fat quarter and I threw it in my lunchbox and my... Ugh, my Dr. Pepper can leaked on it. So now I'm trying to get the big Dr. Pepper. Well, it's all shiny because I oxy cleaned it. I've got to get the Dr. Pepper out of it. So welcome to my life. Dr. Pepper in everything. Back to cutting. So our greens are all cut. We've got our slightly wider strips, our skinny little strips, and 300 squares. Now that all my pieces are cut, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see what's left of my black on black scraps and see if there's enough to cut my binding strips. So then in the end, I'll just have the scrappy black on black binding. Here we go. Totally able to get the right amount of binding needed. So I have um, I cut two and a half inch strips instead of two inches just to kind of give myself a little more wiggle room. Um, I had done two inch binding on um, table runners, but on a full quilt yet. So I'm not quite to that point of daringness yet. So I went with my normal two and a half inch size. So I'm going to show you my fabric all chopped up and ready to go. And that will round out this week's video. So here we are all good and ready to go. We've got our black on black pieces, our beautiful green um, circuit board pieces, and then binding over here. So we're all ready to go and start getting piecing. Um, see y'all soon.